You know, the other day I was doing scientific research on Twitch because I'm thinking about becoming a live streamer at some point myself and I wanted to see what made people genuinely entertaining to others. The more I watched, the more I started to realize you don't actually have to be entertaining and that there's a very good correlation between being funny and being sexy. You see, the more sexy you are, the more funny you are and the more fuggo you are, the more unfunny you are. And in some rare cases, you were so funny that you transcend ugliness or sexiness and become a god. So, I thought it'd be fun if we took some of the most popular internet personalities and pinpoint them based on sexiness correlating to funniness and ugliness and non-funniness. And from there, we give them an overall score. This is easily gonna come across as very offensive, but who cares? So let's go! I think the best place for us to start is we go on the top list thing. We'll start with Twitch streamers, then we might move on to YouTubers, and I don't think it's fair to go into influencers because their only talent is trying to look attractive. So therefore, their sexy will always outweigh the funny. Starting off, XQC. I have seen a little bit of this guy's content. Let's have a look at a few pictures of him. Ah, he's not an ugly lad. Would I say he's traditional? Traditionally sexy? No. Would I say he's classically handsome? No. Would I say he looks like the lead singer of a very questionable pop punk group? Mm. I could see him asking girls of inappropriate age to come backstage. But how does he correlate to the funny sexy list? Well, I have seen a little bit of his content. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't fucking know what he's saying. No, 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 yeah, yeah. I've never heard that, but I, yeah, I've seen some of these documentaries. I haven't really none of that. Hey, the game government and no one no, 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 no. I always thought it was a meme when people said he just speaks gibberish, but no. Sexy, I'd give him a seven. Funny, he makes really interesting monkey noises that I can understand. That's giving me a few chuckles. On the sexy tier list, we'll do this one out of five, shall we? I will say he is middle. I'm gonna give him a seven. Who's next? Ninja. He's got funny blue hair. Does that count as sexy? I don't know. He's pretty like average looking. Would I say he's necessarily hilarious? I don't know, but he's more geared towards family-friendly stuff nowadays, so it's not really my target audience. I will say when he makes his absolutely abysmal cringe, I get some good laughs. That New Year's Eve incident, oh, oh I still quote it every day. Movement. Oh my God. Uh, I think I'll also put him at a seven. Because he's not uggo. He's not an uggo. And he does make me laugh with cringe, so seven. Nick Merckx. I've watched a few of his live streams. He's the Call of Duty and Apex guy, right? I think he's personally quite handsome. Now that I'm actually looking at it, I am getting a little bit thirsty. Would I say the sexy outweighs the funny? Although he's mainly an FPS guy, he's not really known for comedy. I think he gets a six. The sexy though is an absolute 10, lad. I will 100% get locked jaw for you, Nick. Tyler one. Ah, oh, funniness. Absolutely 10 out of 10. Don't pay attention to the score. I don't even know how it works. This is just my rating. 10 funny. Sexy? Yeah, he's ripped, but he still looks like an ego. So I will put that at a uh, seven. Tyler, yay! Moving on. I don't know any more Twitch streamers. YouTuber time. Holy shit, Mr. Beast is number seven overall now? Oh my god, he's a 94? I guess we gotta review him. Eh, he's not the worst looking lad I've ever seen. I've always said though, I know for a fact Mr. Beast is from like Alabama or one of those like southern places. I think he should just wear a camo unironically. I think he would suit it. Have one of those like duckbill callers and <laughs> I'm always doing all this YouTube shit. You should be in the swamp lands. Funniness. I'm not sure. Admittedly, I don't watch Mr. Beast videos. It's nothing against him. I just don't like game show stuff. It's boring to me. I will put you over here in the no lol. Give you a free. Just because I don't watch your stuff. But for sexiness, I think Mr. Beast gets an eight. Although, you're always welcome to increase your score. I'm just going to leave my bank account down below. And if I happen to see $10,000 in there by tomorrow night, well, then perhaps I could be your Dubai girl. Moving on, I think it's only fair that we cover some females now. To be honest, I have been looking at nothing but men for a while. And I think it's only right that we judge some women too. Just a minx, negative 10, funny. SS Sniper Wolf, negative 10 funny. Pokimane, negative 10 funny. I has cupcake, negative 10 funny. Jenna Marbles, negative 10 funny. Elijah Koshi, negative 25 plus unfunny. Attractiveness for all of these women, negative 100. I'm sorry that you're unattractive. It's not my fault you weren't born with a fat, juicy cock. A sun piker, plus 100 sexy. 200 funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna put this out there. There's no chance in hell I'm gonna rate women on their funniness correlating to their sexiness at least not in a legitimate sense because um 
I like living. I also like having a job and a house. I think we should skip on ahead. I'm thinking we look at some of the most popular TikTokers out there. When your entire brand is dependent on how young and sexy you are, finding this just kind of falls to the wayside because kids have heart glasses around their eyelids when they look at you. So you, Trixton, Braxton, Mitchell, and Gickle for all part of the fuckboy club. Do your little dances. Like, uh, 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 as it ultimately does not matter what you say. You're a piece of meat. I don't even know what to look up to be honest. Uh, it's not like a frequent TikTok. And there's no way I'm typing in sexiest young TikTok man. Ooh, what should I type? Fuckboy TikTok? First trap, men's popular videos. That's it. That's it. Now I'm gonna make this clear. I am not ranking these young men on their looks. I am gonna go through their profile and see if it relates to comedy. <laughs> Oh, you goofy. You goofy. You goofy. Tell me how your parents beat your ass without telling me that your parents beat your ass. No. Age verification required! I'm actually legitimately scared. I don't think this is a good idea anymore. What if I type in hashtag first trap? Oh, gross. It's all girls. No, come on. Where's the boys? Where the boys at? Ooh. Big brain move. Top tick tockers. They're all girls. Girl, 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 girl. Indian actor, in fact, that's a girl. This is so stupid. Why do I want to look at girls? Oh, that's perfect. Nisha Gruga is an Indian TikToker. Lip sync videos, let's go. Fuck, it's a... There is a huge lack of penises. This furthers my point, man. Not that it's like bad to be big on any platform, but if a man could choose not to be big on any platform. I think TikTok's the one you wanna avoid. Jacob Santoris, nah, leave the legend alone. Oh, where's the rubber? His, 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 this is a lad. Yes! This a fuck boy. This a fuck boy. It's not a fuck boy. This is not working. It's all Indian people too, as well. Dobre twins! Yes! Those two I know. How old are they? Okay, cool. They're my, they're near my age. They're a bit older than me. I can make fun of them. I'm not being funny. I know they're brothers, but it looks like they kiss one another for practice. Yes! This is good cringe. <laughs> I want to punch them in the face. <laughs> oh! Naked cowboys in the showers at Ram Ranch. Big herd throbbing cocks wanting to be sucked. 18 naked cowboys wanted to be fucked. Cowboys in the showers at Ram Ranch on their knees wanting to suck cowboy cocks. Ram Ranch really rocks. Okay, that's enough for me. This video is a failure. They ruined the rest of this video for you guys. Don't break brothers. Negative 20 fucking million. Die. Legitimately. Like, in what life? I always like to ask myself, how far would I go for money? I draw the line when I have to live my life like that with my twin brother. Just being a fuckboy into my late 20s. With the personalities of sponges. Dobre brothers, I'm glad you're wealthy. Thanks for ruining my day. Thanks for ruining my video. Fucking angry right now. <laughs> Thank you so much. You legally have to subscribe or I will castrate you. See you later. Bye-bye.